is the oxidation number of bromine and bromine uh, trioxide. <laughs> to solve this, we need to begin by writing down oxidation numbers for what we do know, and that is oxygen. Now, as I've stated in a separate video, oxygen has basically three different oxidation numbers it's going to have. If you have O2 all by itself, that kind of oxygen has an oxidation number of zero, because it's elemental. It's only oxygen bonded to other oxygens, no charge. Zero. If you have oxygen in a peroxide, a peroxide like hydrogen peroxide shown here, the oxidation number of those kinds of oxygens where you've got oxygens bonded to each other, uh, but they're also bonded to something other than oxygen, that's negative one. In pretty much every other uh, compound you can con conceive of, oxygen is going to have an oxidation number of negative two. And that's indeed the case right here. So, I've got an oxidation number of negative two for these oxygens, but there are three of those oxygens. So if I have three oxygens and each of them has an oxidation number of negative two, then what is the overall amount of negativeness coming from them? Well, there are three of them, each of them is negative two, so the total charge, if you will, is going to be negative six. Or does that leave me with bromine? Well, you'll notice that there's a negative one charge right here. So bromine has to have an oxidation number that when added to negative 6 leaves negative 1. In other words, if I put x here, x minus 6 equals negative 1. x is going to be the oxidation number of bromine. What is that? Well, obviously, it's positive 5. 